Okay, to convert from standard form, you just write the number down, and this here, the power, will tell you where to go. So, if the power is positive, then you go to the right. If it's negative, then you jump to the left. Now, since it's negative, we're going to jump to the left, and it's minus 6, so we're going to jump 6 spaces. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, the decimal point will now be here, and you fill in all of the jumps with zeros. So, one of the jumps is used by the 8, but all the other ones we fill in with zeros. And whenever you've got just a decimal point, you need to have something before it, so we put a zero before it. So the answer will be 0 0.0000084. That would be the answer. So let's just count. There's five zeros and five zeros. Okay, uh, to convert to standard form, you write out the number. And you try and put a decimal place in to make the number between 1 and 10, but not including 10. So if I put it in here, that would be 72, so that would not be right. So I need to put it in here. Then you count how many times you had to move the decimal point to get it there. So the decimal point started at the end of the number, and we had to move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so the rule is that the number has to be between 1 and 10, which this one is. Now, if you had a big number, then the uh, power of 10 will be positive. Now, here we did have a big number, so it's going to be positive 6. On the previous one, we had a small number, 0 0.000084. I don't know if I said the amount of nodes that were there, but... And you can see that the power in the question was negative. So negative power of 10 is a really small number. Positive power of 10, really big number. This does turn up on the calculator paper as well. So if it does, you can actually just type in question A into your calculator and just write down the number it gives you. Now, some calculators are smart and do things in standard form. So you might need to do it this method anyway.